This video is sponsored by the book summary app, Blinkist. We have all been physically ill before. We have all felt the strange deviant nausea, body aches, fatigue, and so on, be it from viral or bacterial infections or otherwise. Perhaps we might have or continue to experience the distress of a genetic condition that impairs the function of our heart, lungs, or other parts of the body. In all of these cases, the body functions and is experienced differently compared to what is otherwise understood to be its normal condition. Likewise, in the case of mental illness, the mind functions differently compared to what is understood to be its normal condition. More specifically, the normal conscious experience of the mind's normal condition. But what exactly does this mean? To experience an illness of the mind, what is the right normal experience, and how do we define and know it? Generally speaking, psychological disorders are defined as patterns of thought, feelings, or behaviors that are deviant from the cultural classifications of normality, distressful, and dysfunctional to living in society, or the world more broadly. Beyond this, however, psychological disorders can be fairly ambiguous, and we, as a species, are largely still at the ground floor of our understanding. Psychological disorders are both extremely common and rarely extreme, at least in the sort of cases in which we will be discussing here in a moment. We are generally all familiar with the more common types or mid-level forms, like depression, anxiety, obsessive-compulsive disorder, bipolar disorder, and so on. Perhaps we are familiar firsthand. However, there are types and forms of conditions further out on the periphery that can sound as if they are made up, like they are out of a psychological thriller film. But these psychological thrillers are the real lives of real people. And so, this topic warrants delicate handling and compassionate deliberation. There is a history of stigma, misunderstanding, and poor treatment associated with mental illness. Only around the 18th and 19th centuries did we even realize that mental disorders could and likely were about a sickness of the mind, and we still have a long way to go in terms of comprehensively understanding what exactly a sickness of the mind really is and means. Failed by the seemingly invisible cloak of consciousness, an impenetrable subject where nothing other than the subject itself can know what the experience is like, disorders of consciousness, of mental experience, are acts in the magic show of the human mind that we still do not fully comprehend. Here are five particularly unusual and unnerving psychological disorders that truly showcase the mystifying nature of the human mind. 1. Alien Hand Syndrome Alien hand syndrome is a condition in which an individual's hand takes on a life of its own. The hand does not merely involuntarily move at random, but rather, the hand actually acts as if it has its own conscious will, a distinct, separate mind with intentions and desires. Individuals with this condition can find their hand carrying out goal-oriented tasks and activities without intending it or wanting to. The hand might take objects out of drawers, unzipper a jacket, close or open windows, and so on. Even more strangely, the hand is sometimes known to do the opposite of what the individual intentionally wants or just did with their other hand. For instance, the alien hand may open the same window that the individual just intentionally closed. The condition is understood to often be caused by trauma, stroke, or a tumor, sometimes associated with cancer, aneurysms, or brain surgeries. There is no known cure for the condition, however, and it is still not fully understood. Two. Derealization. Derealization is a condition in which an individual feels as though their surroundings are unreal, distant, and or distorted. People and objects seem to lose their reality, and the world can feel as though it has been withdrawn or faded, like it is placed behind a pane of opaque existential glass. Temporary acute derealization is experienced by a huge number of people, with up to 75% of the population experiencing it at least a few times throughout their life. However, individuals can experience chronic, intense derealization, in which long, extreme, and frequent episodes occur. Derealization is often experienced with a similar condition known as depersonalization, which involves the feeling of being disconnected from one's own self, the body, mental processes, or both. In the combined case, the individual experiences an ineffable detachment from everything, an awareness of being something somewhere with no sense of an anchor of reality to anything. The more chronic extreme form is somewhat rare and is typically indicative of several other psychological disorders or medical conditions, often with severe trauma or stress at the core. 3. Disassociative Identity Disorder 
This associative identity disorder is a condition in which an individual has, experiences, and acts out two or more distinct identities, each with their own differing personalities, their own memories and sense of the past, their own tastes and preferences, and their own way of determining the outward behavior of the individual. The disorder affects between 0.01 and 1.5% of the population. Although genetic and biological factors are often believed to play a role, most typically, cases stem from some form of trauma, with 90 plus percent of cases involving childhood abuse, neglect, or intensely distressing events. The condition is believed to arise as a coping mechanism. In an attempt to deal with the traumatic experience or memory, the conscious mind attempts to repress and contort itself away from reality, and in some part of the process, it appears to fragment or split itself off into a different sense of self or group of selves. Although there are several ways of treating this disorder, currently there are no formal, universal treatments, and some that are used are even considered controversial. 4. Capgrass Syndrome Capgrass Syndrome involves the sudden and false belief that someone or something, most often a close friend, romantic partner, or family member, sometimes multiple, has been replaced with an imposter, a sort of duplicate or clone. The belief is so real that no form of reasoning, explanation, or proof can change the affected individual's mind. Sometimes the case can be so extreme, the individual becomes distant or even violent with the loved one with whom they believe has been replaced. This syndrome is understood to be primarily caused by brain damage, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, dementia, epilepsy, tumors, or Parkinson's disease. However, since it is quite rare, it's fairly hard to study, and a strong understanding is still mostly unfounded. 5. Cotard Syndrome Cotard Syndrome is a condition in which an individual believes that they are dead, dying, or simply do not exist. It can also sometimes involve the belief that parts of one's body are missing. As a consequence of this, individuals have been known to exhibit self-neglect or self-harm, because since, in their mind, they are dead, what's the point? Even more strange, individuals with this condition have also been reported literally admitting themselves to a morgue. Cotard syndrome is fairly rare and hard to study, and so the causes are not fully known. Many of the known cases involve individuals who also suffer from conditions like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, substance abuse, or some sort of brain damage, often from a stroke, tumor, blood clot, brain toxins, or head injury. Exactly how, why, and what way this response occurs, though, is still largely unknown. Arguably, on some level, we are all familiar with the strange dissonance and disorder of being, in the general sense. Men are so necessarily mad that not to be mad would amount to another form of madness, wrote Blaise Pascal. For some people though, this is not a low hum in the background or underneath reality. It is reality. It is a battle of realities, between what they experience and what others experience and collectively define as normal. But what does the psychologically disordered mind suggest about the so-called stable one? About the self? About our perception? What does it suggest about how fragile reality is and how powerful and mysterious human psychology is? The problem, of course, is knowing what is and isn't real in a mind that prohibits exit from one's own and entry into any others while trying to define normalcy in a universe that knows of no such thing. This video was sponsored by Blinkist. One particularly interesting book on the subject of mental illness is Madness and Civilization by the prominent 20th century philosopher Michel Foucault. This work explores the history and development of mental illness in the Western world, more specifically, the often troubling and misguided social and medical perception and treatment of the mentally ill. With this video's sponsor, Blinkist, you can learn from this book, along with many other books on similar subjects, like A First Rate Madness by Nasir Ghami, Anatomy of an Epidemic by Robert Whittaker, as well as thousands of other books on different subjects, each in less than 15 minutes. Blinkist works by condensing over 5,000 nonfiction books from 27 different categories into around 15 minute summaries, streamlining and providing each book's key takeaways and important insights. Perhaps you are interested in learning more from madness and civilization, about how facilities were set up for the mentally ill during the Middle Ages, how treatments and understandings of the mentally ill has evolved from outcasts to medical patients, and so on. But perhaps you don't necessarily want to invest the 10 hours required into reading the full version. At least not right away. 
Blinkist solves this problem by allowing you to explore and discover meaningful insights from books like this in a fraction of the time. All Blinkist summaries can be read or listened to and can be accessed even while you're offline. Additionally, Blinkist has summaries of popular podcasts as well as complete audiobooks, allowing you to delve even further into books and topics once you've discovered that you're interested through their Blinks. Use the link in the description and you'll receive one free week of unlimited access as well as 25% off a premium membership. The free 7-day trial can be cancelled at any time within the trial period. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching in general and see you next video.